This is Ashley with Watch Mojo, and these are the top 10 hated anime that are now loved. For this list, we'll be looking at the series that, upon release, were dismissed, but over time have either improved in quality or gained a cult following. Did you change your mind about any of these anime? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, you can catch me on Twitter at AshJBow, so head over there, give me a follow, and let me know which anime list you want to see next. <laughs> Number 10, Digimon Frontier. Okay, I'm coming back. <laughs> no Digimon, no problem. In one of the franchise's biggest departures, this fourth iteration of the Digi Destined were not given any digital partners, having the kids themselves transform into Digimon. Calm down. Did you really think it'd be that easy? You're right. We need to get focused here. Yeah. This didn't sit too well with some who found the connection between partners the highlight of the series. In its absence, Frontier went out of its way to deepen the lore, bring some creativity to its fight scenes, and deliver some of the best digivolutions the franchise has ever produced. No wonder so many consider it a sleeper hit. Right, Suzanne Omon! Now go clobber that evil slug with pleasure! Number 9, Mr. Tonigawa, Middle Management Blues. <laughs> Kaiji may have had its lighter moments, but in no way could it be considered a comedy. This spin-off is unabashedly a comedy, which is crazy considering it focuses on one of the series' signature villains as he tries to manage working for a psychotic chairman. It's such a deviation from the original, it rubbed plenty of fans the wrong way. Trading in life or death gambles for Twitter escapades does seem like a bit of a step down. Outside of the tonal shift, the series itself proved to be pretty solid due to an oddly charming sense of humor. It's almost enough to make you forget that time Tonegawa got set on fire. <laughs> Oh, sensei. Number eight, fairy tale. <laughs> this series has always been contentious among fans of fancy style shonen, and while some have never quite veered away from hating on Natsu and the rest, the Grand Magic Games and final season did a wonderful job at helping Fairy Tale carve out its identity. It was a bit of an uphill battle though, since there was a time where it was not so lovingly referred to as Bleach Peace by the masses. <laughs> That Guild Arts Shanks comparison didn't help matters either. Either way, when people actually gave the series a try, they realized its hot blooded fight scenes and genuinely lovable cast made it stand out from the rest. Number 7 B Stars. <laughs> It wasn't so much the 3D CGI that had fans turning their noses up, it was more the Zootopia vibes, some even considering it bait for furries. Oh, how wrong they were. Legoshi and Haru struggled to navigate a world of beasts dominated by prejudice, cravings, murder, and lust is fascinating, especially when all those aspects start bleeding together. It doesn't hold back on its social commentary. Its cast are painfully and ironically human, and by the end it'll have you rooting for an innocent wolf boy to romance a promiscuous bunny. <laughs> Number 6, Arifureta, from commonplace to world's strongest. 
you can't deny the trashiness of this series. It's got terrible CGI, so much edge you're liable to cut yourself on it, and hits every single trope when it comes to the monster girl harem genre. So what changed people's minds? Well, it's trashy, got so much edge you'll cut yourself, and got a monster girl harem. It's such a shameless power fantasy, what with a one-eyed gunslinger shooting giant monsters while holding a vendetta against the world, the fact it's getting a second season is proof enough. Go check it out. Damn it. <gasps> Number 5. Higurashi When They Cry Go There was a lot of hype going into this one when people realized it was a sequel. After all, it had been years since the last installment of this time-twisting gore-fest. Who knew what carnage it would bring? Well, any thoughts of that were shot down when fans began to realize that Go was retreading old ground. The idea of this being a slightly shinier remake didn't sit too well with people, at least until it finished the recap and became an actual sequel to the original. It's totally insane but somehow works for a franchise as messed up as this one, and fans have been riding the murder train ever since. <laughs> Number 4, Dragon Ball Super! Expectations could not be higher for an official sequel to Dragon Ball Z. Following on from the brilliant Battle of Gods movie, there was no reason for this not to succeed, and then the animation happened. Goku's fight with Beerus was shockingly atrocious and put the future of the series into question. While there were a few hiccups down the line, many would agree that as soon as they got to the Goku Black Saga, it was awesome. Given how Goku unlocking Ultra Instinct initially broke the internet, we'd say Super redeemed itself twice over. Number 3, Yukio GX. Jaden Yuki and his merry adventures at Duel Academy certainly seemed like a step down when compared to the outings of the original King of Games. The fact there's a Duel Academy in the first place was already a tough pill to swallow, and the opening arcs weren't exactly that impressive. However, by the time the evil spirits, supreme kings, and other end-of-the-world shenanigans started to crop up, the series finally found its feet. Even Jaden and his radical bro mentality started to become endearing after a while. The monster cards were pretty sweet too. Number 2, Lucky Star. Nowadays, we all know this series as one of the quintessential slice-of-life comedies, filled to the brim with quick-fire, low-key gags, courtesy of that savage that is Konata. However, during its infancy, there was a lot of disappointment voiced by the fans. The jokes were decent, but the direction in the opening episodes were lofty at best, so much so that the director was replaced. Whatever the new blood changed must have worked, since episode 4 and onwards caused Lucky Star's popularity to explode. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Black Clover <laughs> Once upon a time, this series was the unwanted stepchild of the shonen genre. It brought little new to the table, the first 30 episodes were slow-paced, and the animation wasn't exactly the best. Then everything changed. 
Maybe Perot decided to up their game, maybe it was the source material's developing narrative, but whatever it was, something clicked. And before everyone knew it, Asta's journey to become the Wizard King was one of the best modern battle shows out there. The quality of its fights, the fun of its characters, the slickness of its pacing, almost overnight, Black Clover went golden. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.